What is going on guys? Welcome to your 73rd Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing up our program and actually running it. So in the last tutorial, we created a list on the left. We created the move button and we added some functionality to it. So now we go ahead and the only thing we have to do is create the list on the right. So let's go ahead and make right list. And just go ahead and like set it equal to new J list. And we don't need any parameters for it because by default we want nothing in it so that's why we don't need any parameters for it right now um, you can if you want but I mean it'll be kind of useful and hold on let me itch my ear oh, yeah that feels good you're right in there oh disgusting so now what we need to do is since we have nothing in our list by default then it's not even gonna appear on the screen by default since I mean it doesn't have anything in it so what we need to do is set a default height and width for it pretty much so let's go ahead and see what do we put up here for three okay what we need to do is first take that right list and to make sure it appears on the screen by default what we need to do first is get out of my way set visible row count and I'm gonna set this equal to three because our other one was set to three and I just want some consistency so next I'm gonna take that right list and we need to set a fixed cell height and width so set fixed cell let's do width first I mean that only makes sense we'll set a width of like a hundred and do the same thing for height right list set fixed crap my default thing height and we'll set this equal to like 15 or something like that and this should be enough to uh, hold our values if it's not we'll go back and tweak it a little bit but oh well and the last thing we have to do aside from this is take that right list and we need to set the selection mode like before so set selection probably can copy this from up there but um too lazy to set the selection mode make sure I didn't write get selection mode and what this is gonna do list selection model dot and we're gonna write wow how convenient is that multiple interval selection so then once I type right list and type this right what this is gonna do is allow you to select multiple items from the right hand side and I know you guys can't see that multiple interval selection so just like that now that we have our right list made the only thing we need to do is add it to the screen so let's go ahead and add new j scroll pane so we want a scroll baller in this one too right list so now we have everything added to our screen and our program is basically built right here so let's go ahead and in our main I already have this stuff from the last tutorials let's go ahead and run this and see what we got well I resized my window a little weird but we can always change that by uh, setting the size right here but I'm too lazy for now so as you can see the title is tighter title and now unlike before where we can select single things if I hold down the shift key on my keyboard look at this click and now I get a multiple selection or if I hold down control on my keyboard I get that selection where you can select like every other one or if you want to deselect something just click it again and now if you move it you get bacon more bacon or if we want bacon wings and ham I'm going to click bacon hold down shift click ham and move and we get bacon wings and ham and of course if we want everything let's go ahead and just select that move and now we got everything right there so that is pretty much um, the program of using a multiple interval selection or or in other words multiple selection list and one quick time how this program works we pretty much made variables right here in an array we took that array and passed it into left list so left list will have something to display we set the visible row count we made it so you can select multiple things and we also made a scroll bar on the left list then we got to the move button we did all this default stuff and we also did this cool stuff set list data of the right list automatically depending on what you select in the left list that's why whenever we click move 
it first looked what we selected in the left list and depending on what we selected that's what it put in the right list so this is how you do that using set list data in the get selected values method we added that button to the screen and then what we did is we made a new write list that was empty by default and since it was empty by default it wouldn't display if we didn't give it a height and width and now we made that list so you could select multiple things in it even though you didn't really need to and last but not least we added the right to the screen so everything was added to the screen and it was good to go and it was good to run so that is our final program using multiple selection lists I hope you guys enjoyed it oh, I got the hiccups now so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next tutorial